Hey, Verballers, it's me, Dan, your second favorite host. I'm at peace with that. Quick and hopefully fun and informative announcement. I'm now hosting and producing a new podcast. It's called Sports Wars, and I'm doing it for Wondery, a terrific podcast network that's produced a ton of great shows. I'm sure you've heard of it. Sports Wars, it's what it sounds like it should be. It's multi-episode arcs about rivalries, but not just rehashing of, like, Red Sox, Yankees, or Duke, North Carolina. Nothing that giant and mainstream. Uh, the first arc is Brett Favre versus Aaron Rodgers. And yes, they're NFL people. But we do go back to the college days for each and talk about how Brett Favre was trying to keep Aaron Rodgers on the bench. And it's the the old grizzled vet against the young up-and-coming hotshot type quarterback. Uh, we also go into non-football stories like Michael Jordan versus Isaiah Thomas, Rafa Nadal versus Roger Federer for all you tennis dorks out there. And we'll get into some details you either didn't know or you forgot happened or you just will enjoy bathing in once again. Again, it's hosted by me. And even though Ty isn't behind the dials of this project, the episodes do sound terrific. Trust me, with all sorts of high level production by some super talented producers who've worked both in the sports podcast world and the TV world at places like ESPN and Fox. So... What follows is a short preview clip that'll give you a taste, but I really would appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you'd subscribe at wondery.fm slash solid. That's W-O-N-D-E-R-Y dot F-M slash solid. It's a slow time in the college football world. This is a new podcast that will do your ears justice with the storytelling and production value. Trust me, I would not put it out and I would not attach any sort of Ty Dan name to it if it didn't. So thank you for considering and for giving the show a shot. I really do think, uh, I think you'll enjoy it a good amount. Thanks again. It's the morning of June 2nd, 2005 in the Green Bay Packers cafeteria. Teammates who haven't seen each other all spring are cracking jokes and telling stories about their off-season vacations. It's like the first day of school. Only the kids are 300-pound men, and school is Lambeau Field, the Packers' longtime home. The returning Packers won their division, but lost in the playoffs last season. For this team, winning the division has become second nature. The main reason? Their iconic quarterback, Brett Favre. He's been the leader of this team for 13 seasons, starting 225 straight games. Let that sink in for a second. As the NFL's clear Iron Man, he's played through injury and illness each year. He's also 35, at least two years older than all but one other guy on the squad, and closer in age to some of the coaches than some of his teammates. This is all to say, Favre is untouchable in Green Bay. Today, Brett Favre sits alone at the far end of the cafeteria, reading the local paper. At this back-to-school day, he's more like the principal than a student. Some gray stubble covers his strong jaw, a loose-fitting blend of camo and cargo shorts make up his wardrobe. He's, well, he's weathered. He's definitely not giving off a stop-by-for-some-small-talk kind of vibe. But a few of the other veterans stop by to talk about Favre's off-season fishing, and then they shuffle off. So nobody really notices when the rookie, Aaron Rodgers, walks into the cafeteria. If Rodgers has any butterflies, the dark-haired 21-year-old isn't showing it. He feels confident for a reason. He's a big-deal rookie quarterback from California. A couple months ago, the Packers took him in the first round of the NFL draft. A big deal, because you don't waste a first-round pick on a guy you don't expect to play. As a kid, Rodgers loved watching Favre, even when that meant seeing his hometown 49ers lose to Green Bay, like they did in the 1997 NFC Championship game. Rodgers has never seen Favre in person. He hasn't even heard from him since the draft, which is a little surprising. The rookie wasn't expecting to instantly become the legend's best friend, but he figured a quick, Hey kid, welcome to the big time. Sort of call might have come this spring. Nope. Rogers, once again, the new guy, walks the length of the room towards Favre to make the overdue introduction. 
For a moment, he pauses, tries to figure out the, quote, right way to play it. Come on, this is Brett freaking Favre. It feels surreal to meet a living legend who does what you do. This is Eddie Murphy meeting Richard Pryor, Eminem meeting Dr. Dre. He's been a fan for years, and now he's supposed to be a teammate? It's awesome, but also weird. So yeah, the rookie QB's a little nervous, but there's no way he's going to show it. He can't be a punk on day one. He's got to be himself. Show he's not intimidated. Show he's already one of the guys. So Rogers makes eye contact and says in a booming, jovial tone, Good morning, Grandpa. Yeah, so the moment the words leave his mouth, Rogers knows his attempt at humor doesn't go over well, and so does everyone else around. Even Favre is at a loss for words. He's not sure if he should laugh it off or just knock him out. Grandpa? In his sleep, he could outdo this kid from Berkeley, and... Grandpa? Hell, he's forgotten more football games than this kid has even played. Grandpa, sorry, Brett Favre, who had been slowly flipping his way through the local paper just a minute ago, could suddenly feel that old competitive fire burning again. That was just a preview of Sports Wars. To hear the rest of the story, subscribe to Sports Wars on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening right now.